Ever wondered why it can be so tricky to earn your cat's trust? It's a common challenge for many of us who share our lives with these furry cat friends. Gaining a cat's trust can feel like cracking a secret code. Cats are naturally cautious and wary. It's in cats' DNA, wired through centuries of evolution, to be vigilant and selective about whom they trust. But here's the thing. Breaking through that barrier is not only possible, but incredibly rewarding. In this video, I'll share 10 essential tips to help you bridge the trust gap with your cat companion. These insights will bring you closer to your beloved cat than ever before. Before we dive in, please subscribe to Wise Animals and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. Tip number one, let them come to you. Did you know that cats often prefer people who have allergies to them? It's a curious fact. Those who keep their distance inadvertently become more attractive to cats. So how can you become a cat magnet without developing allergies yourself? It's simple. Engage in your usual activities in the same room as your cat. Whether you're working on your laptop, folding laundry, or binge watching your favorite series, being in a cat space without forcing interaction is key. The secret is to be present without being pushy. It might take a few minutes, days, or even months, but eventually cat curiosity will lead them to check you out. When cats do grace you with their presence, resist the urge to scoop them up or shower them with affection, no matter how hard it may be. Instead, offer a calm presence and let the cat set the pace. This non-threatening approach lowers a cat's guard and builds trust. And once a cat decides you're okay, get ready for some serious bonding time. Tip number two, reading aloud. Here's an unconventional tip that surprisingly works wonders with cats. The science behind it is quite straightforward. Cats thrive on familiarity and routine. Cats quickly get accustomed to sounds, including the sound of your voice. The more they hear it, the more comfortable cats become in your presence. Think of it like creating a soothing podcast for your cat, where your voice becomes a comforting background noise. The key here is the tone of your voice. Opt for something soft and calm to create a relaxed atmosphere for your cat. Whether you're reading a cooking recipe or your latest blog post to your cat, the content isn't as important as the soothing sound and rhythm of your speech. Many cat guardians have noticed their furry friends cuddling up next to them or purring contently while they read aloud. It's a simple yet effective way to bond with your cat and make them feel relaxed and secure in your company. Tip number three, use their name. Calling a cat by their name goes beyond summoning them for dinner. It's a way of communicating that they can recognize. Cats are capable of distinguishing their own names from other words. While cats may choose to ignore you at times, Rest assured they know when you're addressing them. A study in Japan showed that cats respond differently when they hear their names, even from an unfamiliar voice. This indicates cats associate their names with specific experiences, often involving their human companions. Each time you use their name, you strengthen the bond between you and make your cats more likely to pay attention. Using their name isn't a magical command for immediate obedience, especially with cats, but it plays a crucial role in communication, regularly addressing them by name particularly during positive interactions like feeding or playtime, helps cats associate it with pleasant experiences. Here's a pro tip. When calling your cat, use a pleasant and upbeat tone. Cats are sensitive to the tone of voice, and a friendly pitch can make them more inclined to approach you. After all, who doesn't enjoy being spoken to nicely? Tip number four, patience with touch. Understanding where and how your cat likes to be petted is an art form because each cat is unique. Most cats have a few safe spots that are generally enjoyable. The base of their ears, under their chin, and along their cheeks. These areas are like universal like buttons for cats. Interestingly, a cat's skin sensitivity can vary widely. Some areas, like their back or tail, can quickly go from enjoyable to uncomfortable for a cat. It's crucial to read cat signals carefully. For example, if their tail starts twitching, it's a sign to pause and reassess. Start with the safe spots and approach gently. Observe their reaction. If they lean into your touch, you found a winner. If they move away, no worries. Simply try a different spot or give them space. The goal is to make every interaction positive so that the cat associates your touch with comfort and security rather than stress. Here's a pro tip. Some cats have a limited tolerance for prolonged petting sessions. They might enjoy it intensely for a while and then suddenly want to be left alone. It's not personal, it's just their nature and understanding this can help you build a better bond with your cat friend. Tip number five, consistent routine. Maintaining a consistent routine is crucial for building trust with cats as they are creatures of habit who thrive on predictability. When cats know what to expect in their day-to-day -day lives, they feel more secure and less anxious. A stable environment where activities such as feeding and cuddling occur at regular times. 
Each day reassures cats that their environment is safe and dependable. By setting specific times for meals, you help regulate your cat's internal clock, which can reduce anxiety around feeding times and prevent behavior issues such as excessive meowing or scratching. Furthermore, establishing a routine for affectionate interactions like cuddling can strengthen your relationship. Cats will start to anticipate and look forward to these moments, associating them with feelings of comfort and safety. Even setting routines around quieter activities, like grooming or just sitting together, can contribute to this sense of stability. Over time, as these patterns become ingrained, your cat will likely become more relaxed and trusting, showing less fear and more affection. Consistency in your actions and interactions conveys reliability, which is key to developing a deep bond of trust between you and your cat. Tip number six, avoid direct eye contact. In the cat world, direct eye contact can be quite intimidating. It's akin to a stare down in a Wild West duel, minus the cool cowboy hats. Cats rely heavily on visual cues for communication and their eyes play a crucial role in expressing emotions and intentions. Interestingly, one of the most heartwarming gestures in the cat vocabulary is the slow blink. When you lock eyes with your cat, rather than maintaining a steady stare, try giving them a slow blink. This gentle action mimics the deliberate blink that cats use to convey affection and trust. What's fascinating is that cats often reciprocate the slow blink when they feel comfortable and safe around you. It's their way of saying, I trust you too. This exchange of blinks is a significant moment in cat language, indicating a bond and mutual understanding. Tip number seven, positive reinforcement. Cats, much like humans, respond well to positive reinforcement. When your cat exhibits behavior you appreciate, such as calmly sitting beside you on the couch, offering a small treat can reinforce this positive action. Cats are intelligent creatures and they quickly grasp the connection between their behavior and the reward. By consistently rewarding them for desired actions, such as peaceful coexistence during quiet moments, you reinforce their inclination to repeat these behaviors. However, it's crucial to maintain moderation in treat giving to prevent overindulgence and maintain your cat's health. The key lies in establishing a clear link between cat behavior and the reward they receive. This approach not only encourages desired behaviors, but also strengthens the bond between you and your cat companion. Positive reinforcement creates a harmonious environment where your cat feels appreciated and understood, fostering a relationship built on trust and mutual respect. Tip number eight, engage in play. Did you know that your cat might see you as their favorite playmate, even above the person who feeds them? While food is important, playtime is the key to capturing a cat's heart. Studies show that cats develop strong bonds with humans who play with them. This is because playtime replicates cats' natural hunting instincts offering mental stimulation and physical exercise. For cats, play isn't just fun, it's essential for their development and overall well-being, and also prevents boredom. When cats engage in playful activities, it triggers a positive response in their brains. Cats feel a sense of accomplishment and happiness, associating these positive feelings with you. So, spending quality playtime with your cat not only strengthens your bond, but also enriches their life significantly. Tip number nine, wear cat-friendly scents. Your scent can make a significant difference in how a cat perceives you. Cats have an extraordinary sense of smell, and certain aromas can make you irresistible to them. Catnip and silver vine. These are like the fine wines of the cat world. A touch of these scents on your clothes, and you might just become the most interesting person in the room to a cat. But remember, moderation is key. You want to pique the cat's interest, not overwhelm them. So, how do you apply these scents without turning yourself into a walking cat toy? It's simple. Take a small cloth, rub it with catnip or silver vine, and then gently pat it on your clothes. Think of it like applying a subtle perfume that only cats can appreciate. This way, you carry a familiar and comforting scent that naturally attracts cats to you. This trick is especially useful when you're trying to bond with a new furry cat friend or ease the introduction to a nervous cat. By using these cat-friendly scents sparingly and strategically, you can create a positive association that helps build trust and affinity between you and your cat. Tip number 10. Introducing new people slowly. Introducing new people to your cat can be nerve-wracking for them, akin to us meeting someone new unexpectedly. Cats are creatures of habit and can feel uneasy when their territory is invaded by strangers. The key to a smooth introduction is taking it slow, very slow, like at a snail's pace. The goal is to minimize stress for your cat. Start by allowing your cat to observe the new person from a distance. This could involve having your friend quietly sit in the same room without making any direct attempts to interact with the cat. Here's a neat trick to help the new person seem less threatening and more friendly to your cat. Scent swapping. 
Before the introduction, give your cat a cloth or item that the new person has worn. This allows your cat to become familiar with the new scent gradually, without the pressure of a face-to-face -face meeting. By taking these gradual steps, you can help your cat adjust more comfortably to new people and reduce any potential anxiety they may feel during introductions. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Your support not only encourages us, but also helps other cat lovers discover our content. Don't forget to share your experiences in the comments below, and consider subscribing to the Wise Animals channel for more informative videos on understanding and caring for our feline friends. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.